Hi, I'm Nigel Griffiths. This is the HMC Enhanced Plus Graphical User Interface Live Demo, Part 7. We're looking at group tags. Let's pop up in here and we'll skip these ones in here. We'll look at shared storage pools a little bit later. We're looking at groups now. You can actually see how four groups and they're actually named in here. I've got one called Production. This is my important bits and pieces. I've got Power 6, Power 8, Machines. This is a list. And I've got some crash and burn stuff that uh, up and down like a yo-yo. Uh, as I try various dangerous operations. But if you look at, say, my production group, it's going to bring me up a panel in here that includes my uh, production systems, uh, my servers in here. That's good. Then I've got production partitions. So I've got my uh, backup server, my new server, my uh, download server with all my images for operating systems on it. And uh, I've got the backup server on the other machine. That's good. And if I slow down in here, this is my production VO servers. And again, I can see them all up. Um, so we could actually, we can quickly have a look and see that they're all up. Again, we could look at lots of different criteria of whether we think this is a good or bad or what version they're at. We could be looking at, um, for example, yeah, the uh, OS version in here and checking that they're all... Oh, look at that. My download server is uh, running AX7. I should go and fix that sometime. Uh, there are. Good test. That's a real-life test. I wasn't expecting that. Um, and so how do we actually control these things? Well, if we go to the groups panel, we can add a new one. Um, in this case, we can just... Uh, Go to the same panel that you create it. You give it a name, any name you like in here. Um, then we've got a description, I just think important. You can choose what colour blob you're going to get. I've got green in here for uh, production. Um, and then down in here, a list of all the servers, the partitions, and the VIO servers. Now up at the top in here is all my Power 6 stuff. If I pop down to a bigger machine in here... Uh, Ruby, so here's my Ruby system, my Ruby VO servers, and my Ruby partitions. So I've taken a selection, just click these in here, um, you know, switch this on and off. This is actually a, a crash and burn VO server that I use, occasionally use. It's not actually running any real workloads. Um, but I just select what I want and hit OK, and now I've got my production group. OK, if we go in here and click on groups, you can see my list of uh, groups. I could delete them, and I got the create group that just brings you up the same panel as the uh, edit, and you fill in the details and off you go. A nice summary in here. It, it says you know, ten of my things are powered on. There's nothing in particular error for these particular groups uh, at the moment. Okay. Nice little feature. Nice way of grouping all your machines. Perhaps you want you know your top line production uh, this means that our customers can see that our website's down type things you might have very important internal systems you know payroll for example uh, and your internal databases for sales and then you might have groups for other bits and pieces and testing and uh, you know machines being brought online in the future or something whatever you like you can actually create your groups and quickly have a look uh, around them and decide what to do from there um, if you actually go into uh, one of them then um, you can see these are all actually live buttons. So, you know, if there was something wrong with Emerald, I can click on Emerald and just dive off to Emerald uh, and take appropriate action. Same with a, a partition or a VO server. Well, that's group tags. In part eight, we look at shared storage pools.